Welcome, rock stars. Uh, if you want a different title, I can. I don't know if, if people like being called rock stars. I thought that'd be kind of a, an interesting title. Rexians of old, Rexians, familiars, uh, henchmen. Nah, that sounds too negative. Actually, uh, give me a comment and, and see if there's anything else that you like. And if er, you know, maybe if everyone, everything gets an upvote, I'll change it. I know uh, PewDiePie has his bro, sister, fister kind of weird thing. Uh, that's, that seems seems a little cheesy to me. Uh, you know, and I don't want something that's neutral. We say, you know, everyone's a star in their own way. And I know that I, know I saw that someone, someone actually has a channel called Rackstar. And I was like, really? I think I even know who the guy is. Uh, someone I, I know that probably just grabbed my name. And I was like, yeah. So I'm thinking of other things, um, other titles. Um, Rackscallions. Huh, that might be it. Rex Scallions. Sounds kind of mischievous, but that's kind of in a cool way. No, oh, let you guys figure that out. Anyways, next uh, next episode, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 1, Episode 24. All's well. Duh. All's well that ends well. Uh, all, nice, nice, nice wording there. I like some of these titles. They're very uh, creative in, in how they're set up. What is going on with this thing? Blue, why you do this? Okay. Without further ado. Huh. This meteor shower tonight's gonna be amazing. Awesome! Well, I haven't seen a meteor shower in ages. You know, this shower get your will happen once every 100 years. A hmm. centennial celebration! <laughs> we better get a move on. And your apples. Don't want to be late. Whoa, whoa, and your... whoa! Punch? There. Spike, did you grab my quill and ink? Check. Hmm. Scrolls? Check. I've also packed the telescope, apples, bananas, fruit punch, and my freshly baked homemade triple decker nut crazy vanilla cream cookies. Huh, <laughs> sounds good. I can see that. Oh, Once again, man. you read my mind, Spike. The show always makes me and hungry. And that is why you are my number one assistant. Aww. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. That I is can't why hear you. you are my number one assistant. Miss that? Huh? I said... Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. She got you. Wait, I almost forgot. I want to bring the Astronomical Astronomer's Almanac to all things astronomy. The Astronomical Lomo. What? What? <laughs> You know that really old big blue book on stars, moons, planets, the universe? Right! Check! Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Last year! Oops. You gotta keep that on control, dude. <laughs> Ooh, just, just admit it. Oh. My little pony, I want a balloon ride. Okay. I was sure I put the astronomer's guide back. The book would have helped mm. me identify different planets and stars tonight. Well, maybe someone borrowed it. Besides, you don't need that book. What? You can already name all the planets and stars because you're super smart and astronomically awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Spike. You're such a astronomically flatter. awesome. Yeah, I'm a sweet talker and a number one assistant, right? Check. Hmm. Wow, Twilight, you're lucky to have such a rad assistant. I wish I had someone to do whatever I told them. Ooh, ooh, me, me, me. I'll do whatever you want, Rainbow Dash. Screw. Oh, yeah, Pipsqueak? How about taking out the trash? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> do we have Spike to thank again for this amazing spread? Isn't he simply amazing? Aw, oh, come on. I said come on. Oh, little Spikey <laughs> Wakey. Who knew that big ferocious dragon started off so cute? Spike, you are such a little star that I had to make this little bow tie for you. Oh, wow, he's gonna eat it. Gosh, you guys are embarrassing me. Stop it. Twilight, your turn. Spike, that's yeah. enough. All right, that's enough. Hey, every pony, the show is starting. All right. Oh.
I've never seen like shooting stars like full like that. Or meteor, meteor showers. I see a few here and there. But... Cookies. Spike made them. Speaking of, Spike, can you bring us some punch? Spike? Hmm. Oh, poor little thing. Aw, he's worked himself to the bone. And now the punch has been spiked! <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy. Good night, Spike. <laughs> Sweet dreams, number one assistant. Hmm. <sighs> the study of comets. Comets are small, irregularly shaped bodies that are made of non-volatile grains and frozen gases. They... Hmm. Hmm. Things that go bump in the night. Ooh. Have body structures that are fragile and diverse. I don't see any writing on that. Hmm. Shoot! Oops. Oh, there he goes. Oh, this is a job for Spike. If only he were awake. Woo. Hmm. That's helpful. Wait! Don't go! Don't be afraid! Thank you for returning my scroll. Gosh, it's cold, cold tonight. Say, would you like to relax in Texas here and keep me company mic. while I work? Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Fragile and diverse with a surrounding cloud of material called a coma that grows in size and brightens as the comet approaches. That's actually uh, uh, pretty accurate. She's actually using actual dark faces there. I overslept! I know it's already 10, but I'm scaly tailed and bright eyed. I'm ready to work twice as fast. Oh, please don't be upset, Twilight. What do you want for breakfast? Oatmeal? <laughs> How about a sunflower smoothie? Grass pancakes? Spike, don't worry. But my morning chores. It's okay. Aloysius <laughs> did them for you. Who? He's our new junior assistant. He's going to help out with your chores so you won't be so tired all the time. Well, what do we need a junior assistant for? I'm not tired. How do you find on my own? I don't need sleep. I Spike, don't worry. He's just here to help out a little. Now I have to go out. So why don't you introduce yourself to Aloysius? He's in the library. Worried? Do I look worried? I'm not worried. I wonder where she got the Who's name worried? from? Aloysius. Hello? Hello? Dude, that's creepy. Yeah, I would say uh, I'd be hi there. creeped out I'm by that. Spike. I'm sure Twilight has told you all about me. Uh, Spike? You know, assistant number one? <laughs> I'm Spike. And who are you? And what are you? Who? 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 I thought your name was Aloysius. Who? Okay, who? Aloysius. <laughs> whatever. I'm Spike, okay? There's a Look, reference to this I'll mention later. All you need to know later. is that I'm number one and you're number two. Got it? Number who? two. So, a man of mystery, huh? I'm keeping my eye on you. I've got eyes in the back of my head, too, you know. Ow. Uh, well, not really, but you know what I mean. That bird is out for my job. He wants to be number one. Well, I'll prove to Twilight that I deserve to be number one. Not freaky feathers over there. I won't let him have my job if it's the last thing I do. Oh, what a fantastical, flippalicious, feathery little friend! I'm hooked! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just wonderful. He's just wonderful. <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> wonderful. He is quite... They all heard you. And Aloysius is just such a star! I just had to make this little bow for you. Oh, that's kind of... I could see him being angry to that. What's he all saddle sore about? 
He's so. probably just jealous of Owlicious. Correct. Maybe Spike feels threatened or worried that Owlicious will replace him. That is also replace correct. Replace him? Ha! That's crazy. Spike knows he can't be replaced. But Twilight, He's trying to replace you should me. actually listen to them. Better step it up and make sure that Twilight and Owlicious know that I'm still number one. And she didn't hear that. Hey, Spike, can you fetch me that book called Two-Headed Myth Mythological Mysteries? I know where it is. Thanks, Aloysius. Hey, Spike, no worries. Aloysius flew up and got the book for me. Oh, and gee, I guess I need ferrets of fairyland, too. Hey! Climb down from there before you fall. Ouch. Man, Spike, you're always, like, falling or... Getting hit. Shoot! <laughs> yes, sir. My last writing quill. It's broken. Never fear. Oh, yeah. Speaking Spike, of number one assistant is writing here. quill. 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 Writing Where quill. Take a look. An actual authentic writing quill. With. Where is it? Writing ink. I just haven't made anything Where yet. Where am I gonna get a quill? I even got a. Uh, Writing journal. Wait! But the store is Just called what Quills and Sofas. You only sell two things. Sorry, Junior. All out of quills until Monday. Need a sofa? I could use a sofa. I swore I had one here somewhere. Ah, here it is. A quince. Not a quince. A, a quince? quince? Right. A quail? Ah, she wouldn't a have a quail. A quesadilla? Quesadilla. <laughs> Not a quiche, a quill. Quiche. Nope, sorry, a lot of quills. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Come on, chicken. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Come here. when you were turning this place upside down. Aloysius gave me one of his feathers to use as a quill. That's just great. Perfect. Sweet. I think I'll just, uh, finish up the rest of my chores. Or did Aloysius already do them? Oh, no, no. There are quite a lot of them. Well, that's fine. Because I can just stay up all night and finish. Oops. <laughs> Poor Spike. He'll come around. He's genuinely a good little guy. He's just feeling a little jealous. Huh? Oops. Spike, what is this? You said this book was missing. Well, Aloysius found it right where it belongs. But like this, how did it get this way? Uh, well, um, you see, I, I just didn't want to disappoint you, and, uh, have you ever seen a dragon sneeze? I've seen a dragon lie. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in you, Spike. You set me up. Well, two can play that game. No, you Ooh. actually did it yourself. Not who? Two! <laughs> Our wishes is out to take my place. I just know it. I've got to stop him. But how? Mouse. Oh, well. <laughs> Come along, Opal. Let's hurry up and get to Fluttershy's tea party. I also get the reference in this outfit too. And when Twilight discovers it shredded up on her floor, she'll think mouse eating all the wishes is to blame. Dude, you're I'll be creating your own heartache here. Again.
Dear Princess Celestia, Spike is causing too much harm to himself. He will never get out of this. If he spent all the energy doing this, it look, it didn't even work. <laughs> that poor little field mouse torn to pieces. It mm -hmm. must have been Aloysius. You know, since I was eating, you know, mice. What a terrible, terrible bird. He must be punished. Right? Spike, I don't know what upsets me more. That you deliberately tried to set up Aloysius, or that you actually thought this pathetic attempt would work. You've let your jealousy get the best of you, Spike. I am truly disappointed. This is not the Spike I know and love. Still creepy. <laughs> she... She doesn't love me anymore. That's not what she said. But I can see where you get that from. Twilight hates me. I'm cold, hungry, tired, lonely. Could it get any worse? It always... Never ask that question if it can always get worse. Yes, it, yes. it always can. <laughs> okay. Hello? Hello? What is that? This is what running away is all about. I never want to go home. <laughs> gems. Okay, if you see that many, many gems, you have to ask why or what, you know, there's something Even to it. Even if my tummy's full, the rest of me is still empty. I miss Twilight and the Pony Gang, but she doesn't love me anymore. So, I'm better off here, all by myself. Wow. Seems to be getting warmer. <laughs> uh oh. The steam is great for my complexion, but it's sure getting hot in here. Yeah, that's what I figured. What are you doing in my cave? And why are you eating my gems? Uh, hey, bro. I didn't know this was your cave. And I didn't know these were your gems, but we're cool, right? Well, whoa. Hey, uh, we're like brothers, you know? I mean, you're a dragon, I'm a dragon. It's us against the world, right? It doesn't quite work that way. You don't scare me. So you're big. Really big. And your claws are super sharp. Tail. Extra spiky. But, uh, you don't scare me. Ha! How'd you like that? Stay, but gotta go. See ya. When wanna be ya? Brave. Fast. Jeez, one hit. Of... <laughs> Spike, over here. Am I glad to see you? Hurry, hop on. They can see well in the dark. So you can just arbitrarily find a dragon, huh? Oof. That was no nonsense. Spike, we were so worried about you. I was so worried about you. Why did you run away? I thought you didn't need me anymore. And that you didn't love me anymore. Spike, 
Sure, I was disappointed, but you are my number one assistant and friend, and you always will be. It's just that sometimes I need some help at night. I can't ask you to stay up late. You're a baby dragon, and you need That's your true. rest. Owls are nocturnal, so I asked Aloysius to help. That's actually but pretty not smart. To take your place. No one could ever replace you, Spike. Not even when you are being a jealous numbskull. Huh. I'm sorry, Twilight. It's like working in shifts. Should have been so He's the day guy and, and all wishes and in the night guy. And I'm sorry too, Spike. I should have been more sensitive. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty obvious. Aloysius? Even your friends told you. I know now that you weren't out to take my job. True. Forgive me? Who? Huh? Me. Forgive me, Spike. Who? Huh? <laughs> He forgives you, Spike. Hey, how did you guys know where I was? It was your ketchup-covered feet. Aloysius discovered your footprints, and we followed them all the way to the mm. cave. Oh, yeah, the ketchup. It looked pretty real, though, didn't it? Don't be boasting about that. Uh, <laughs> I know Princess Celestia will want to read about what happened today. I'm ready when you are. Hey, Spike, why don't you write to Princess Celestia and tell her what you've learned? Really? Yeah. Why, that's a big responsibility. I know, but nothing my number one assistant can't handle. Dear Princess Celestia, this is Spike writing to you about my adventures. <laughs> this week, I learned that being jealous and telling lies gets you nowhere in friendship. I also learned... See, when he's writing, you actually see writing down. Share. So from here on out, I promise that I, Spike, will... Hmm. He falls asleep quick. Oh, Spike. Who? Who? Spike. You know... <laughs> oh. <laughs> My pony. Okay, um... Now, in case some of you don't get some of the references, and I think some people may not, a lot of this, like the whole who, you know, asking who and asking questions, there's an old comedy routine. And some, and some of the YouTube, I haven't actually seen any YouTubers or any even commentary review analysis even mention this. But I guess it may be before their time. There's an old comedy skit. And look it up in, on YouTube called Abbott and, Cost Abbott and Costello. Uh, it's basically who's on first. If you search who's on first, Ivan Costello, that'll bring you to the comedy skit. It's basically a a, uh, a baseball skit, and I think like the the first guy's name is who, second guy's name is what. That's their actual name, their their, their physical name, and it's just it's just a hilarious skit. I think I just recently saw someone do a remake of that. Jerry Seinfeld did one as well as a remake of that. But it's based on the uh, old original Ivan Costello routine. And the other thing, which is also a uh, a kind of a, a little tongue-in-cheek remark like when spike dressed up as like the villain the little curly q mustache on top hat that's referencing an old old uh, uh villain back when film was like in black and white and the and the whole scene would be this this because they didn't have special effects or even in sound or even in audio they just had images and text and the guy had to look like a villain so he, he, over the top with the mustache and, and the hat and everything and what he would do is he would tie up a girl on the railroad tracks and he'd be like, ha, 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 I got you now. You know, there's nothing that no one can save you. And then the hero comes and rescues her in the nick of time before the train comes along and captures the villain kind of thing. But it's an old, uh, old reference to that typical railroad track villain dude. Um, you could probably find YouTube on that as well. So, yeah, so there's a, a lot of uh, uh, tongue-in-cheek references in this. Uh, I'm surprised a lot of people haven't, haven't picked up on this. But... Uh, yeah, so this is actually a pretty good episode. Spike now has a, a partner in crime to help him out with, Aloysius. Uh, pretty good. Although Twilight's now going to have to make sure that she gets sleep because she's going to always have, you know, 24 hour shift coverage on this. <laughs> Anyways, that's my take on this. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, if you're new, subscribe, all that. And thank you for joining me. And have a beautiful day. And take care and peace.